walk beside the broken for a special day of grieving in a safe environment that can bring some healing even and um, provide hope with restoration. That's our purpose in doing it as well as educating any who come. All are invited to this event. It's an hour from 11 a.m. to 12, or yeah, 11 a.m. to 12 noon at Harvest House Church. got a direct message from Nick saying, I think I have your bunny. And I was just floored. I was like, okay, well send me. I, and and he, he probably thought I was absolutely insane because I was just like, okay, well, here's my number. Text me a picture as soon as you can. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it turned out that he had Bun Bun safely buckled in the back seat. <laughs> so Nick, when you saw the stuffed animal on the bench, what made you think to pick it up and put it in a safe place? Had you seen the Facebook post? No, it was, um, I was like walking home. I actually was eating at McAdoo's with some of my friends and um, I was walking to my car and uh, I saw it and it was just snowing. So I thought, I was like, well, you know, let me grab it. And I have a friend that works at the Mass. So I was thinking, I was like, you know, next time I see them, I'll return it to them and have them keep it at the mass just in case like someone calls to, to find it or like calls to see if they um, had it. And then, you know, with all the snow, everything was closed down for so long that it was in the back seat of my car for like five days. And I completely forgot that I even, it even existed or that I even had it until um, I guess it was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. I was at work and one of my friends um, sent me like your post, Julie's post on Facebook and was like, I think you told me that you had found this bunny on King Street. And then I also saw Boone PD had shared a post. And so I just immediately like contacted you guys and let you know that I thought I had it. I was pretty sure I had it. Grand Sun Pub and event venue in Boone is known for its Thursday karaoke nights where 18 year olds and up are allowed in. Recently, the venue has changed its age restrictions to 21 and over. The new age requirement at Ransom creates a number of different changes for this venue. Luke Huntley, a bouncer at Ransom, talks about the main impacts he has seen from this new rule. Um, the main impact that we saw from it was that the bar is less crowded. Um, we wanted people to be, uh, over 21 people to be able to get their drinks faster and more efficiently because you're not having under 21 people standing at the bar. How it affected us money-wise, um, on certain nights we've been making about the same as we have been with um, the unders still in the bar. Although there are benefits for the venue with the new age restriction, it has received backlash. Before they raised the age to 21, they raised the under fee from five to $10. This upset many people, and even more were upset when the rule changed to unders not being able to get in at all. So there's been a lot of backlash when we raised the age. Um, because most of the Thursday nights, we'd have a line. We have two separate lines. We have a line for over 21. We have a line for under 21. Our under 21, at some points, would get down to buy mellow mushroom. And then at some nights, it would be well, not a lot of people. But we'd still have a lot of under 21 presence in the bar. Of course, when you're going to go ahead and take that away, there's going to be a backlash from it. Fake IDs in all college towns is a prevalent issue. Now, with only 21 and over allowed in ransom, the bouncers have to be sure that no one is using a fraudulent ID. Luke Huntley talked about how they handle fake IDs and how they catch them. I have a stack probably about that big of fake IDs. When we catch somebody with a fake ID, we're not here to um, make your night any worse. You already got your fake ID taken. Um, we're just going to tell you to go home. 